Hello and welcome to this course on XBench. Today we're going to talk about searching for terminology. You have to get the program first, of course, before you can uh, get started. So just go to APSIC.com and it's a free tool that you can download um, right there at the website. Real easy to get it, just click on, click here. It will go to the download page and there are uh, two things you need to be concerned with downloading for this program the installer and the spell checking QA plugin for your target language so you get the installer and once you get to the spell checking QA plugin you'll see a list of languages you get your appropriate language and you'll be all set and once you have the program you need to uh, open it up and the first step here is to create a new project so click on project and then go to new and we have to load our first file in this case and you have to use bilingual files and the first one we're going to use is a um, glossary that was sent to us by our client but you can uh, use Tritos TTX, uh, SDLX ITD files and uh, T TMs as well but the first one we're going to try to uh, load is our glossary that was sent to us by our client which is in Excel format and not accepted by Xbench so we open it up and everything that's there on the right that's not any kind of any part of the language we uh, need to get rid of um, any kind of extra information there and if our language names happen to be at the top we need to get rid of those because they won't help us much when we get into actually working with Xbench. So you right click there and click on delete. Save the file as a tab delimited text file because Xbench can't take your Excel. So we find that there in our list and we save it like that. And we click on yes there. And it's going to ask us if we want to save changes to our glossary and we don't. So we close out the file and we need to click on no once it prompts us. Okay, let's take a look at what our glossary looks like. Um, it's a TTX format so it should work fine in Xbench. We'll go ahead and uh, open it up and uh, see what we have here. We should have um, everything um, except for the language names and everything should be outside of cells. So you can see the English um, and the French. So now let's go ahead and um, load our glossary. I tab the limited text file, click on next. And we'll lo locate it on our hard disk. And once you find it, double click and click on next. And uh, for glossaries, we need to make sure we set remove duplicates and change our priority to high. And then click on key terms. You should always click on key terms for glossaries. Click on OK. And now we're going to go ahead and load our TM. You follow the same process by clicking on add. And you can load TMX memories, Trados, WordFast Pro memories, or SDLX memories. In this case, we're going to load a TMX memory. Of course, so we check that format there and click on Next. Then you click on the Add button to find your files on your hard disk. Once you find it, you can double click to add it and click on next and here we can choose uh, medium as our priority and click on OK finally we're going to load our bilingual files and we could load Trados uh, TTX files bilingual word files, SDLX files but in this case we're going to load uh, some TTX files 
So we choose Tag Editor Files here. Click on Next and Add. And we'll find our files. Click on Next. Your priority should be set as low here and you should select ongoing translation now once you click OK you can see all the files you've loaded are glossary marked with a star because their key terms are TM and the bilingual TTX files click on OK and it's uh, loading up the files let's go ahead and start to search we'll find a tire here and you can see that green there means it's in the glossary and a red means it's in the TM and blue means it was found in our um, bilingual files. And you can scroll down here and see um, all of your results. And this is a great way to see which terminology is preferred in your target language. Okay, so here's the result for bearing. As you can see, green for the glossary, red for the TM, and blue for the um, bilingual files, and bearing bushing we've got uh, these results here. We don't have any glossary results here so we can just see TM and bilingual file results. And if we click on the T here this gives us a source term and a target term area to search in. So I'm going to try in the uh, target term uh, the word cousine. And there you can see our results for cousine, some in the glossary, some in the TM, and some in the bilingual files. Let's type bearing in our source term and click on the little button next to the T. Here we have a couple options. We can ignore tags or make a case sensitive search. Uh, we can also exclude the IC segments or to uh, match the whole word um, as you wish. Okay, we'll try a power search here. And we've been able to uh, look for um, bearing without the word roulement. And we can try uh, the same thing uh, with another word as well in power search. So this gives us a few more options than just a normal um, term search. We can get pretty specific on things here. Now what I want to show you uh, next is the wild cards. It's right there under search mode. And this time we're going to write the word uh, bearing, but we'll put an asterisk in there and that will show you any character that appears once or several times so if you uh, take a look at the results you can see we found things like bearing, boring, or even backup ring in our results. If we try another wild card uh, we'll use the question mark this time 
and that'll find any character but only once or not at all in our uh, in our results and next we're going to try with a second question mark and you can see the results that we end up with okay the last function here of XBench is probably the most interesting if we go to the web we um, can search for a website that contains the term bearing bushing let me click on the first link here and we'll find an example of that once we find it we want to select it and copy it by hitting uh, control C and we'll press control alt insert and XBench will work in the background and display uh, the results it found in its database okay we'll try um, another word now just to show you this feature again we'll try Let's see. Let's try the word corrosion. We'll press Control C and then, of course, Control All Insert, and um, you have XBench working in the background. Let's try a third word here to see how it works. We will use. Let's see this one and control control Z control insert and we don't have um, as much luck um, this time of course as you can see but it's still a great feature if we take away the word joint we use steering that works too and this function works um, anywhere in Windows as well so we have a document here control C control all insert and our XBench works um, in the background it's a kind of a concordance search for you uh, even if you're working outside of a cat tool thank you very much for watching this lecture I hope to see you in the next one